Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and indeed information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. So are you in the mood for some excitement and adventure? Well if so, then here's five things I think you need to know about my little side. Welcome to the Kingdom of Pome, in which you'll be partaking in the Harvest Tournament. You're heading out to earn trophies in pairs, and the first to earn four will be crowned the new rulers. Gather apples and gems, complete quests, earn pies and use them in fights, earn friendship, power up your abilities, and collect spells to earn victory. Thing one, what's this game all about? Well, the theme of my little side is that of going on a great and epic adventure. And yes, there is more kind of background story here, but it doesn't really matter in the context of playing the game. Overall, the theme is a pretty light one, but for some reason, it actually feels rather appropriate. As you start out on the edge of the board and prepare to explore all the near and far locations. Now, similar games to My Little Scythe, well, it definitely feels like Scythe, in the sense that they're both action selection games. Thing two, mechanics. My Little Scythe is really centered around the three actions you can use on a turn, which are movement, you know, which lets you move, there's seeking, which allows you to put items out, the, out of the board, and making, which allows you to kind of get other cards and upgrades. Having fewer actions and making them simple is why this game is so well suited for families. And when you complete your goals, this often encourages cooperation and friendliness with other players. For example, to move up the friendship track, you have to give items to your opponents. This makes the game feel wholly positive and rewarding to play. You even get a bonus for losing in a pie fight. So this level of interaction is pretty fun and I really liked it as part of the mechanics. My Little Scythe overall is clearly the offspring of Scythe, but it doesn't actually lose its focus in trying to appeal to a younger audience either. This is a solid game with all the rough action smoothed out of it, and I actually didn't mind that one bit. Thing 3, On the Table. Well, I'm not going to lie to you folks, this game looks great when it's set up. I think that's mostly due to the fact that the game board is pretty ginormous. Also, the colours that it uses makes it kind of immediately eye-catching too. Now, my little side is pretty fast to set up and this is helped hugely by the fact that it has game trays in the box. And we really like to take ours out of the box and put it on the table, so it makes setup even quicker. Um, and for two of us, it takes about 40 minutes to play and not much more with four players. The rulebook itself is excellent and because of the random setup of the board, there's actually plenty of replayability here too. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, everything about my little side is quality. And if you want a kind of closer look at some of the components, you should check out my unboxing video. And there are tons of components in the box too. From fantastic miniatures to beautiful dice and lovely tokens, my little side really does have it all. The artwork is cute and endearing, and the game overall has a very nice and kind of polished look to it. Not to mention the fact that I feel like you get a lot of value for money here too. Thing five, is this game actually any good? Well, firstly, allow me to deal with the elephant in the room, and this comes in the form of two questions that I assume you might be wanting to know the answers to. So the first part is, is this game like Scythe? Well, yes, it's very similar, absolutely, but it's paired itself back to be more accessible and more friendly. It's obvious that this version is aimed at a different audience, but at its core, it's still the same Scythe we all know and love. Now, the second question is, would you want to own both? Well, I think My Little Side is a game you'd play with a, a very different audience in mind. Perhaps you love Side enough to have both, but I think if I had to pick, I'd probably choose the original over this. I think that's just because I don't have the audience for this. Now, let's focus on My Little Side itself for a minute though, with that out of the way. This game is streamlined to perfection with all the principles from Side behind it. In all honesty, it's almost too perfect. If anything, it lacks a little drama. There's no mild peril or slightly annoying encounters. Everything is perfectly pleasant. So this game was definitely built with families in mind. It comes with like a painting guide for the models inside and an achievement list you can tick off. And it's one I can see children really taking to. 
Clearly, this is a wonderful game. It's thoughtful, fun and delightful. But it's no side. It's just a little side. Do I think you should have my little side in your collection? Well, if you're interested in inducting your family very gently into the board gaming hobby with fun and frolics, then my little side is pretty much perfection. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about my little side, why not send them off in the comments below? Tune in again soon for more short and informative board game reviews.